This video will be about phase diagrams, which are graphs that show the transition between phases of matter. Again, there are three phases of matter, which you all have experience with, solid, liquid, and gas. In this video, we'll review the transitions between these phases, and we will also introduce the graphs of pressure versus temperature, which map these transitions. The three phases of matter, solid, liquid, and gas, can transition between all the different phases. Solids can melt into a liquid, and they can also sublime into a gas. They do this when you add heat or increase the temperature. Some substances can also melt and sublime if you decrease the pressure. Liquids can vaporize into a gas, which takes an increase in temperature. Or liquids can freeze into a solid, which takes a decrease in temperature. Gases can condense into a liquid or deposit into a solid, which both take a decrease in temperature. You'll probably have experience with all of these phase changes. A solid that sublimes into a gas is carbon dioxide, or dry ice. Have you ever seen dry ice? The white cloud that forms above the solid is gaseous carbon dioxide. Deposition can happen on a cold day, when a fog, a gas, changes directly into a hail, a solid. The sequence from heating a solid to melting, to heating a liquid to boiling, to heating a gas, is endothermic. And the sequence from cooling a gas, to condensation, to cooling a liquid, to freezing, to cooling a solid, is exothermic. We'll be discussing all of these phase transitions in terms of phase diagrams. Here's a phase diagram of water. Let's start here to discuss how phase diagrams work. All phase diagrams have pressure plotted on the y-axis, vertical axis, and temperature plotted on the x-axis, horizontal axis. The units of pressure are usually in atmospheres. This is because phase diagrams are a good way to visualize boiling point which is the temperature at which a gas and a liquid pressure are in equilibrium and equal to one atmosphere. The units of temperature are usually in degrees Celsius or Kelvin. For this video, we'll use degrees Celsius. The lines on the graph represent the phase transitions and the regions on the graph represent the phases. The lines on the graph are where the phases are in equilibrium with each other. For water, find the phase transitions we talked about between solid, liquid, and gas regions. Pause the video now and identify these phase transitions. The line between the solid and liquid region is the melting line, from solid to liquid, or the freezing line, from liquid to solid. The line between the liquid and gaseous region is the vaporization or boiling line, from liquid to gas, and the condensation line, from gas to liquid. The line between the solid and gaseous region is the sublimation line, from solid to gas, and the deposition line, from gas to solid. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, and this is the temperature where the vapor pressure equals one atmosphere. The freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius. This is the temperature where the liquid becomes solid at one atmosphere. There's also a point indicated by the intersection of all three phases. This is called the triple point. At this special temperature and pressure, which is usually only observable under laboratory conditions, all three phases exist and all six phase transitions are happening at the same time. Another point to notice on the phase diagram is the critical point. This point is at the end of the liquid gas line. Past this temperature and pressure, the substance becomes a supercritical fluid. A supercritical fluid is where distinct liquid and gas phases do not exist. It can effuse through solids like a gas and dissolve materials like a liquid. To compare the phase diagram of something else, let's look at the phase diagram of carbon dioxide. This phase diagram has everything the water phase diagram has. It has the three phases noted, solid, liquid, and gas. It also has a triple point and a critical point, although its triple point is at a much higher pressure than water. The triple point pressure is 5.1 atmospheres. So this means that the boiling point of carbon dioxide where the vapor pressure equals one atmosphere happens on the solid gas line. In fact, this phase diagram shows you what we already know about CO2. Carbon dioxide will sublime at room temperature and pressure, which means that CO2 will go directly from a solid to a gas. Another thing to notice about the carbon dioxide phase diagram is the solid liquid line has a positive slope. This is because carbon dioxide has weak intermolecular forces, since it's a nonpolar molecule. When you raise the pressure of carbon dioxide and keep the temperature the same, the particles will freeze from a liquid to a solid. The increase in pressure will cause CO2 particles to decrease in volume and increase in density from liquid to a solid. Let's look at the phase diagram of water again. 
Water's normal boiling and freezing points happen above the triple point tra temperature and pressure. This means that water does not sublime at room temperature and pressure. Instead, water goes from a solid to a liquid to a gas as the temperature is raised at one atmosphere. Also, water's solid liquid line has a negative slope. This is because water has a high intermolecular forces as it is held together with hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bonding gives water some unusual properties. Solid water is held further apart than liquid water because the hydrogen bonds have the strongest interactions when they are 200 picometers apart. Liquid water's molecules can get closer together because they're not held in such a rigid structure. This is the reason for the negative slope of the solid liquid line in the phase diagram of water. If you have solid water and you increase the pressure while leaving the temperature the same, melting will occur. The increase in pressure will cause the water particles to break their hydrogen bonds and increase the density from a solid to a liquid. Please watch the next video about phase change calculations to get some experience on doing some of these calculations.